Semiglutide is one of the most exciting drugs in weight loss that have really been available ever. There's never been a medicine like it, in my opinion, that's had so few side effects, so few cons, and so many pros. Now the medicine has to be injected. It's a subcutaneous injection. Cutaneous being skin, sub meaning below. Now there's different kinds of injections and how you inject it and where you inject it matters and it can impact the results that you get. In this video, I'm going to go over where you inject semi-glutide and how to inject semi-glutide. Now, subcutaneous means below the skin, right? But that could mean different things. You've heard of intramuscular injections, like your B vitamin shot, that goes in the muscle. There's injections that are intradermal, like when they're doing allergy testing, they put it actually into your skin. Some, that's where Botox can go too. However, with semi-glutide, you're injecting it below the skin, above the muscle in that fatty tissue layer. So how does that work? Well, typically when you're injecting semi-glutide, you're using insulin syringes and you take the syringe, you draw up the medicine you want. Now, once you've drawn it up, then you'll take it, the area of your skin and you'll clean it with some alcohol. The alcohol pad works great. Then you'll take the syringe and push it on the skin, typically flush, then, and then inject the medicine. Now, where do you inject it? Well, you want to stay in that subcutaneous or below the skin fatty layer. When you look at your skin, there's skin, there's fat, and then there's muscle organs and other vital structures. So we have to stay above the vital structures and muscle, but below the skin. And you need an area where there's enough fat so the needle doesn't go too deep. And you also need an area that's not too thick so you're not in the dermis, right? You got to hit that sweet spot. To get in that area, the best areas are stomach, inside of the arm here, or inside of the thigh. Now, when I look at all these areas and having done, having had so many patients on it and having had thousands of injections done on my patients, what I recommend is the stomach. Why? Well, there's this theory called local effects. What that means is when you inject a medicine, even if it's subcutaneous, close to the organ you're trying to impact, it's gonna work best or most in that organ area if it's close to it. It's a little controversial, but I think there's a lot of truth to it and I've seen it with my patients. Patients who inject the medicine further away from the stomach, what I've noticed is they get less benefit than people who inject it closer. So what I recommend is the lower abdomen. The lower abdomen is the area below your belly button or above your, your waist. So in that area, what I recommend is you take some skin, you pinch it, sort of like this, and then you go ahead, push the product with your other hand, and you're done. It's subcutaneous below the skin, above the organs. If you inject in the stomach, I feel it works better on appetite suppression. It makes you feel more full. Now, you could get a little bit more side effects, right? You could get more nausea, you could get more constipation. For some people, to get diarrhea. You could get more upset stomach. Those symptoms are not desirable, However, they sometimes help you lose the weight. So I think the best place to inject semi-glutide is the abdomen. I think the lower abdomen works really well. It's an area that has the best fatty layer. It's a thick area, so you're not gonna get into vital organs. It's a quick injection that usually drops the blood.